Aloha guys, Justin here with another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii. I'm here with my buddy Taku. If you guys haven't seen his channel, Outdoor Chef Life, you need to check it out. We did a video in California, but now we're gonna try to catch some taco for Taku on Taco Tuesday. <laughs> you also do, don't you have like a series, Taco yeah. Tuesday? Taco Tuesday. So it'll be fun. Hopefully we can catch some. Um, if not, we're just gonna catch some fish and do like a little pan fry. We'll see. Uh, this guy's like a pro chef, so see what he can cook up. But hopefully we can catch some taco. Um, should be in. It's kind of taco season. Um, but yeah, waves are a little rough, so this is a nice spot to go. But yeah, let's jump in the water. Do this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another spearfishing episode and usually these spearfishing vlogs are longer as, as far as me diving in the water but honestly we dove for like five hours, three hours at this first spot, another hour and a half, two hours at the second spot and we just didn't see anything. We weren't catching anything. Taku as a matter of fact um, caught one and it got away like literally within the first 10 minutes of us being in the water and sure enough, it took us another four and a half hours to find another one, but I finally was able to, so this is it right here. So we are at the second spot for about 45 minutes at this point, and I started on the outside, slowly worked my way into the shallower reefs, and this guy caught really close to shore, not even five feet deep of water. And I noticed a bunch of rocks that were kind of out of the ordinary. If you guys seen my other videos, I talk about things to look for when you're looking for taco. And this was kind of just textbook. I moved the rocks around, I seen the taco inside, and I was just so stoked that we were able to catch one today. So that right there is the easiest way, in my opinion, to dispatch the taco is just to flip the in head inside out and you can start cleaning it right there in the ocean. And I brought a bag with me. For those of you guys who just wanna taco dive and stuff, you can bring a bag. I carry my gear in this bag too, so it kinda works for two purposes. When I'm unloading my gear from the bag, I take it out in the water with me whenever I'm just looking for a taco. All right guys, so we are at our second spot of the day. Um, we managed to catch a taco. One pounder, what did it come out to? Like 1.14? 1 1.14, yeah. That's after I cleaned it out too. You guys see that I flipped the head inside out to dispatch of it. So um, yeah, um, Taco's gonna cook it up and I'm just really stoked that we're able to catch one. Yeah. These things are hard to find and yeah, so oh, yeah. it took us two spots, about what, five hours worth of diving total. But um, yeah, lucked out. So I'm pretty stoked. All right, so what's on the menu tonight? So we're making takoyaki. Takoyaki is a street food from Osaka in Japan. And that's where I was born. So takoyaki, they're balls, octopus balls. Yeah. It's like batter and then you just put octopus right in the center. <laughs> <laughs> no, octopus don't have balls, but. See, we make making... like popcorn. <laughs> we make like popcorn taco over here. So we put in like cornstarch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, mean, I feel up. like this is gonna be, like this is a specific thing for her, yeah? Yeah. Right here? yeah. I mean, you can make other stuff with this too, yeah. Probably like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, shoot, man. In Japan, all we use uh, that for is takoyaki. Really? Nothing else, really, yeah. <laughs> Feels special now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to tenderize it a little bit more with my beer bottle. I just finished drinking it, so just gonna pound it. Try to tenderize it a little bit. You might be in the splash zone. I am. <laughs> Let me hold the mic real close so it's ASMR. <laughs> yeah, it's, the size of this is not too bad. Alright, just dunk it once. Take it back out. Alright. That's salt water, by the way. Always use salt water. You want to see the bag? Yeah, but uh, this is only in Honolulu, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. You can just tell by the picture that is for takoyaki. Yeah, because that's the takoyaki <laughs> from the picture. Nuts. And then it says, it says it in the front too in Japanese, of course. <laughs> so making the batter, this is just water. And then for takoyaki, I uh, used to make it when I was a kid. Like I remember like sitting on the table and then using this thing. We had a bigger one and just flipping, flipping the takoyaki over and over on a hot day. No shirt. <laughs> just turning the takoyaki. So he's gonna bring back some, some childhood memories. Yeah, man, totally. <laughs> bring back memories. Once I actually get the get the pan going. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That should be good. That steam. Oh, two little geckos. All right, so I'm just gonna cut the tentacles off. And I'm gonna actually clean off, take the skin off a little bit. So we flew into Oahu and we went to this Japanese market here and I saw this takoyaki pan and I was like, alright, I'm gonna buy this and now we have to catch taco. <laughs> so I told Justin, I was like, yeah, dude, we're gonna have to catch taco. <laughs> so I just bought, I bought the pan already, I bought all the ingredients already. <laughs> I didn't know the urgency of this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you need it. <laughs> and then we went out today and Man, I, I was so close on that, like right when he started, I saw a big taco, probably two pounds at least, got away from me. And I was like, oh, we're done, we're gonna be done early. <laughs> and then now, because of that, because that got away. It never goes that perfect. Extra man. five hours. <laughs> yeah, something similar happened to me before. For real? Yeah, I caught a, I went poke pulling. One of the first times I went poke pulling, caught a huge eel. <laughs> right away, like the first hole, I caught it and then out on the rocks, but it, the line frayed and wow. it came off. So I tried to like grab it with my hand, <laughs> shove my hand down the down the rocks, and I got like soaked by the waves. It was really my funny to watch. <laughs> Justin just standing there watching, so laughing. Funny. laughing. <laughs> didn't you dispatch it though? And it like didn't. Yeah, oh yeah, I was like trying to dispatch it. I like, hit it with the rock like three times, and it was just so alive. And, Afraid the line the rocks. <laughs> All right, cool it off a little bit. All right, we're gonna get it going. About a, I should say, medium heat is good. It's good. I have the batter here, and the batter should be pretty runny, from what I remember. I'm just doing most of this just by memory, and I haven't made takoyaki in a really long time, so I'm really excited. So all you're gonna do, just fill it up. You don't have to fill. You don't have to be uh, pretty with it. Just fill it the whole thing. Cover the whole entire thing. There you go. Then, you're just gonna place a taco in each of the holes. Each of the little circles. Yeah, this part right here brings back memories. <laughs> Trying to Doing this in Japan. Yeah. I used to be pretty good at it when I was a kid too. It's not gonna be pretty at first. But it'll, it'll get there. It'll get there. Just gonna scrape the sides. Just gotta scrape the sides first. And just work it. That one's looking good right there. And then just soft and soft and Moist kind of batter, yeah, moist, <laughs> soft and moist, yeah. That's how it is, man. And delicious. Bro, and they look fire. Once and when you eat these, like even when you eat these, you gotta eat them hot. And then I usually eat it in one bite, and it's always a regret at first because it's too hot. Yeah. But then afterwards, it's like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Worth it. It's hits you, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was looking perfect right there. So why taco? Do they do it with other like type of meat and stuff? Or no, just? only taco. Wow. Only with taco. Just the texture? Yeah, I don't I don't know why, but uh, it's always with taco. Yeah, I've never tried with anything else. I've never seen it made with anything else, actually. Yeah. That's how it is, man. It's just like you can make, like, you know, these, those, those macaroni balls and stuff with this thing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably could. The sauce is called takoyaki sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, I did. Oh, dude. You had it. <laughs> is it. What kind of sauce is it? Like, like, kind of like a plum base? or? It's like a teriyaki almost. Mm. So it's it. like um, similar to okonomi sauce, which is for okonomiyaki. Mm. Um, the base I'm going to pretend like I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's another uh, Osaka street food dish. Okay. Yeah. So Osaka is like just straight up street food? Like, that's yeah, the main... That's what they're known for, you know? That's what they're... Are you, Famous for. Are you mm. gonna put any mayo on it? I was thinking about it. So you do oh, that actually sounds good too. Yeah. Yeah. It has a special mayo too. Oh, for real? He didn't get it though. Yeah, I didn't get it's it. It's like really it's big. Keepy, so. keepy, you know, keepy mayo. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I see. Sometimes you could put it on, or you don't have to. Like, some places do, some places don't. It's kind of. There's this YouTuber that was like swears by it. This Australian one. You probably oh, seen yeah. Nick. Um, what's his name? Nick Fry. Uh, yeah, Nick Fry. Yeah. Also, um, YBS too. Oh, they, they use the kippy? He, he, the kippy. He, yeah, he calls it uh, a secret sauce. The secret sauce? Yeah. <laughs> just puts mayo on everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just QB mayo. Yeah. What's the difference between that and like regular mayo? Uh, it's got MSG. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes all the difference, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude. These are the toppings. Takoyaki sauce. Katsuobushi, which is uh, bonito flakes, and aonori, which oh. is seaweed. Aonori. And lastly, katsuobushi. And you'll see these move. That's crazy. There it is. And that, my friends, is a traditional Osaka street food takoyaki. <laughs> made by a Osaka born <laughs> person. <laughs> but this, oh, this, whenever I go to Japan, I'm always eating takoyaki nonstop. So good. One of my favorites all time. Fire. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> That's the last time you had this. Well, last time I was in Japan probably. Yeah. No, no, I've had it I had it in like San Francisco. Yeah. But no, it's nothing. It's nothing like When's the last time you made Osaka. this rather? Last time I made takoyaki, I was probably fourteen, I think. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. I say it looks pretty bomb man. Can't wait to try one. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's try it. Ooh, man. All right. Let's do this. You want to try first? You can go first. You just gotta... Well, I Maybe just go shot. for it. Yeah. I just go for the whole <laughs> thing. Hot? Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. You like cooked it like the mm. inside is so like tender, you know? Soft, right? Oh my Soft god. Soft and moist. <laughs> and moist. <laughs> Definitely moist. Yeah. You let it cool. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> Not too hot. Usually it's like piping hot. It's gonna burn my mouth. You good? Yeah. First, uh, the trial. Mm. You know, I think the next ones will be even better. I think the batter is a little thick. It could be thinner. This. It's so good. It's really good. I mean, we're gonna be in Osaka next week. So we're gonna eat plenty of this then. then. <laughs> but I had to make it. I was missing it so much. He loves it, man. <laughs> <laughs> good, huh? You good? Good. <laughs> Another bite? And we have a lot more to make. I'm just gonna be making this all night. Just eating, mm -hmm. making, drinking beers. <laughs> it's a good way to end a long dive day. 
That was a long dive day, mm -hmm. but it was rewarding. It is. This is definitely worth all that time in the water. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much food you can make with just one taco too. Yeah. Yeah, taco yields a lot of meat. And the taco is perfect too. <laughs> Delicious. Justin, my bro. Thank you, man. Thank you for You're welcome, today. man. No, thank you for coming out here. Yeah. And trying it out. Yeah. I told you I'd be out here. <laughs> You yeah, did, you did. I told you, I was like, I'll we be there, We were pulling underwater this time. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's literally what it was. I was just poking all the holes. I was like, I'm going to leave no poles unpoked. <laughs> These are poles. No, uh, no, no holes. No holes unpoked. No, I'm going to stick, stick my stick inside of everything. Oh, man. And there we go. <laughs> All right, guys, awesome day diving at Taco. It took us about, what, like five hours to catch one, but we finally did. Cooked up an awesome meal, so yeah. I mean, we're probably gonna go torching or diving again. We'll see, yeah, but yeah. It's been, again. Oh yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Shoots Mahalo. See you later. Bye bye.